Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 14 of my Minecraft Let's Play on my very own Skyblock server, Neo Network. Oh my gosh, it's been like two weeks since I recorded, so I wanted to take a break off of recording just because I'd had a very busy week uh, training up some new staff members. We have two new admins on the server. We got Wild Gingy and Halsey are both admins now. Well, they're technically junior admins, but they will be full admins soon. But yes. You guys can play this server on both Java and Bedrock. I think you guys kind of know the story if you're this far into the series. If you're not already playing, I'd highly encourage you to try it. It's very fun. Okay, so we got a big weekend planned. I'm not exactly sure what all will get done, but we do have a couple of signs. <laughs> Just a few. I think what this is five plus three, so eight, nine signs here. Oh, we got to remove our XP farms. Now, I did talk to the devs, obviously, because, you know, I own the server. I talked to them a lot, but... Uh, so like this is going to be like a setting next season that you can turn the noise on and off just because I don't particularly love that it always dings. It's not that big of a deal, but for people who record, it's kind of a big deal. Um, anyways, okay, so we need to build an area and, and, and you're probably wondering, well, Neo, what is this area going to do? Well, Mr. Data, one of our media team creators here at Neo Network, built an area. Let, let's, let's just go check it out real quick. So I asked visit Mr. Data here. I highly encourage you to go check out his channel. It's just spelled like I spelled it in the command. So let's just, uh, just like that. It's MRD4T4. If you guys want to go look him up on YouTube, he has some cool tutorials. If you guys want to know how to build like cool cobble gens and, and herbalism farms and stuff like that. But look at their island, dude. Do you see what they've built? <laughs> like, dude, it looks like something like a, like a professional builder would build. I mean, it's absolutely. It's just insane, man. Like it's it's just it's it's easily the coolest island on the server. Look at that. So I think their their guild name or their like kind of group name is called Satirical Menagerie, and they have look at the logo. They got a freaking logo, dude. Look at this pixel art over here. So I, I'm gonna get to the point where like this is what we're gonna be building on our island. Not 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 this whole thing, but some a, a feature that they have on their island. So you can see, um, just look at all their pixel art, man. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I can fly. I keep forgetting that. Uh, Mr. Data built his, his own logo over here as well. It's just crazy, man. Like, the stuff they have on here is wild. I love the landscape on the side. It's in their island is so big that I can't even load the whole thing. But, like, dude, it's crazy, man. Got a nice sun. Anyways, okay. Let's go show what I wanted to build. What part of their island I wanted to add to our own. So they have this really cool hallway. I think it's over in this direction, yeah. So they have the wall of greed. So if someone gets banned from the island, they get put onto here. I have a feeling we're gonna have to make one of those as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you for, for the idea, Mr. Data. I already got permission from him to use it. So shout out to Mr. Data. So basically people can donate stuff and that's one way. Um, but you can see like if I wanted to get a random helmet or anything, you just come in here, look, boom, you click it. Oh, I think the dispenser is out. Well, what if I try random chest armor? Oh, it's out as well. What about random helmet? Looks like looks like they're pretty they're, they're wiped clean. Look, we got Mr. Tata. <laughs> he's looking. I think he's AFK, but he might. He's probably checking to make sure. But like over here, we have the luck droppers. You get to click this, and a bunch of items come out. Look at all these. Isn't that cool? We need to do our daily spinner. I believe we need to vote today too. But, like, is that so cool? Now, I looked at the redstone for this, and I don't know that we can necessarily do something like this. Um, one use of each per day. Okay, so then we'll use the luck dropper, lucky dropper as well. So we get some steak. So people can come to the island, donate stuff, and then I'll give it away randomly, basically, is what we're going to do. It's going to be really fun. I, I think players are going to love it. So I'll, I wish I could give this stuff back, but I really can't. I'm just going to sell it out of my inventory because, like, I don't... I'll just throw this on the... Actually, you know what? No, we'll keep the golden apples. But yeah, something like this, man, where you can just come in here. You can also sell your keys and stuff. Maybe we'd make a shop, but I just go, you know, if you're a new player and you want to come get a pickaxe, you just come in here and you just click it and get yourself a pickaxe. So let's do IS go to go back to our home. And yeah, so we've had a lot of people in here grinding. So if you want to come to my island and come check it out, IS visit the Neo Cubist, just like that. And if you look at masteries, we are like tier nine, which doesn't even like we're at 1.9 million mastery points. People have absolutely blown this out of the water. My cactus farm, I've been AFK pretty much the entire time for the last two weeks. 
And just to show all the keys that I give away, this right here, this is all keys that I've given away. I mean, except for like vote keys, because you just get those. Um, and we may have another nitro key, I'm not sure, because I don't know if it's been seven days since I claimed it. Yo, we do, we have two nitro keys now, okay. So in the last two weeks, I've given away 45 pedal keys. If you were to have bought this on the store, like that's a lot of money. <laughs> and then I've given away 15 pollen keys. So I like to give away a lot of keys. Like I'm really generous on the server. I I, I have my, my other account. I have a uh, alt, alt account called Amneo. And that's the account I do all the staff stuff on. Like if people are like, well, aren't you in creative mode? And I'm like, no, 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 I, I don't play. I, I don't do staff stuff on like this account, the Neo Cubist. I do it on Amneo. So those are completely separate. But yeah, I give everyone on the server these keys. Literally everyone. So we're gonna go to the warp crates and we're gonna open all this stuff up and see what we get. So let's go to warp crates real quick. Now I may have gone a little excessive. Usually towards like the later half of the season, I'll start to give out like crazy amounts of keys. At the beginning, I don't do it because then it makes the economy inflate a whole bunch. But honestly, pedal keys are not too, too like crazy on like what you can get. So oh, I wanted to preview it, but you can't get anything super crazy. But let's see what we get with 45. And there we go, guys. That's everything that we just got that I gave away. I mean, not everyone gets the exact same things, but I gave away literally all this stuff to everyone on the server. So, like, look. Look at all this stuff. Look at all the rewards we got. You get these all for free if you played in the last two weeks. So, make sure you hop on if you want to get some free crate keys. I'll probably end up doing more. So, <coughs> a lot of this stuff probably... Um, well, a lot of the stuff that you saw in the rewards in there. So, like, for instance, we got some generators. So, those are in here. It's like we have the Sky Queen generator down, but not the two spotter generators we have. But the rest of the keys just went into my inventory. We have some money notes. We have extreme enchant books. We'll open those. We got eight of those. Anything crazy? Anything good? If not, I'll just drop them. Or no, I won't drop them. I will do slash... I will be smart with them, and I will I will put them in my, my scrapping area so we can get a little bit of XP back because that can never hurt to do and then annihilate three okay then we have 12 advanced ones and these won't really be that good I don't think um molten four is actually I think yeah we already have molten four but we can oh, we'll have to hide play. <laughs> uh we'll, we'll we'll auction hand this one so we'll do auction hand and we'll just sell it for like 10 mil which I think is pretty cheap. Like if we were to look up, prices have gotten a little bit higher just because, if I were to look up, just because people have been playing longer. But like what is Molten 4 selling for? Uh, I don't even see any Molten, well, there's Molten 5 now, what? Oh, 5 million. I don't think we'll ever sell that then, but that's okay. It's not like a huge deal. Um, oh my gosh, they're still here. We'll just have to hide players. Um, you know what I can do though? Um, we're going to go back into Enchant, and we're going to scrap all these. Give me a second. Okay, and then there is the last one being scrapped. And now we have even more pedal keys to open that we got from our, our pedal crate. Let's see what we get. More books, it looks like. Some banknotes and some spawners. Dope, okay. I like it. Anything crazy here? Nope, we're just going to throw those on the ground. We have 21 pollen keys. We want a ton of pollen keys in the pedal crate. Now, pollen keys can be really good. You can get some really good stuff, including some more servant keys, which would be nice. Um, and then we have two of these nitro keys, and these are really good, too. And you get these just from um, boosting the server on Discord. So once you link your account, if you have Discord Nitro, just boost the server. And uh, you can use these nitro keys. Let's see. What are we going to get? Silverfish spawner. I'm a huge fan. I will give away this skin crate key, because I know people really like those. Let's see, is anyone going to get it? It's just, it's just sitting there on the ground. Does nobody want the skin? Oh, there we go. Looks like they got the skin crate key. Okay. So let's open all 21 of these. I will hide players and then we'll time lapse it again. Okay. So let's see what we got. We got a mystical key, a servant key, and three more pollen keys. Nice. I'm really excited about the servant key. It's all I really cared about. Go ahead and open these up. Anything, just some spawners, nice. 
So we'll keep the spawners, of course, but I really want to open this servant key. I hope we get a high tier one, please. Oh, tier three. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. And then we have arguably the best key, which is the mystical crate. What are we gonna get? You can get some crazy stuff. 10 advanced books. Let's go, dude. We have room for almost two more. We'll just drop these on the ground. Um, saturation six. None of these are really that good. So we'll just go to enchant and we will scrap these. Can't shift click. It's it's because of duping. People are always like, well, Neo, why can't you do X? And it's like 99% of the time it's to fix a dupe. And like somehow if you can shift click mob hopper and crop hop. We'll, we'll just throw these on the ground. We have enough of them. We have enough of them. So let's go back to the island. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to put up all these spawners because we don't need those. And then, oh, they're trying to get out. Everyone's always trying to get out of here. They're like, Neo, can you open up your thing? And I'm like, oh, you don't. Because then what happens if, if I were to open that up is that people would mess with me when I'm recording. And that's when I can't be messed with. I, I, I do appreciate you guys playing. But if you start messing with me, it makes it really hard to record. Cause I got, I'm like, I'm like, believe it or not, I'm pretty focused when I'm recording. You know, like I, I try to be focused. So we have some smelt wands, which are cool. Tons of Skycoin boosters. We have 13 of these. I need to be using them more. I'm not sure why I don't. Then we have another one. Three extreme books. I didn't yeah. even see. Nullify treasury three. Do we have tre we have treasury four? Dude, we're we're <laughs> we already have like the best stuff pretty much. So there's no point. We just. Scrap those. We have 1.8 million XP. I would just say, I'm just gonna save that for like re-rolling and stuff. I don't really think we should use it for anything else other than that. Um, I'll put the signs up. Okay, so on to the project today. So we need to build like quite of a big area. Oh yeah, next tier is spawners. That's what I was trying to show you guys is that we have more than enough kills for the next tier. Like we have almost double the kills. Uh, we just don't have enough spawners bought. So it looks like we need to buy, what is that? Like a... Uh, 221 spawners so we're gonna buy 221 of the cheapest spawner which is we need to buy tier three so 221 of these so i'll be back when i have that many oh yeah and just to show you we had like 330 mil when we started this i bet our is bank i haven't checked it in a little bit but in our is bank we have 463 is bank hold on how much do we have again we have 463 million so let's go ahead and do 463 one two three one two three so now we have close to a billion dollars 750 million dollars so i'm gonna go back in here and do what i said i just need to buy like i don't know 221 i think okay i think that should be good we should have the next tier unlocked we do let's go okay well let's go put oh my goodness he's standing right at the door Okay, so let's go up here and put the skeleton spawners down. Now we have literally so many skeleton spawners, so we'll build the next tier of this in a second. We have 292 skeleton spawners. So let's see, what do we have in our spawners list? So this is tier four, which means we can get all these. Probably gonna go for the cheapest one, which is the witches, and then we can work towards getting tier five. So let's just go ahead and buy like, I don't know, quite a bit of them so that people can come here and grind them. So if you guys want to help me get to the next tier, please visit my island and come help me. I'd really appreciate it. I really haven't killed that many mobs on my own. Oh yeah, and we can make the farmer's harvester now. I actually grinded enough uh, crops in between weeks. Because like, it's been like two weeks, so I've gotten quite a bit done. I haven't really done a whole lot off camera except like grind some crops and stuff like that. Okay, I don't want to spend all my money, but I want to spend a good bit here. Okay. So we need to add another layer onto the tower. Now, the only question being for this, how, how, like what color do we use, right? Let me go on the outside again. Okay, I need to hide players. Actually, no, I can't because then I don't know. Oh yeah, I is private. It needs to be private when I'm recording. Oh no, that, 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 that just reminded me. I need to tell the devs to fix that. We're gonna do is expel. I don't, I don't dislike you or anything. I just gotta, I just gotta remove you while I record. I'm very sorry. I, I'm very sorry. Uh, but well, you can come back after I'm done recording. Okay, so it looks like we went to the darkest form of concrete. So I don't know what color to use next. Like that's that's what I was saying. I was confused about. Uh, maybe like if we go into shop, like what color of green can we use? Uh, we, so I think that was green concrete. We've already done lime concrete. So what about like I guess just 
green terracotta is pretty dark. What about lime terracotta? We haven't used it in a few layers. So we'll go ahead and use this. We don't need that much. I found out last time we built this, we don't need that much at all. We do need quite a bit of glass though. Okay, so, and then we're gonna need some wood. So we might as well go over here. And yeah, I do wanna craft the farmer's harvester. If I don't have that on a sign over here, I'm definitely gonna put it. Uh, make OP farmers, okay, we already have that. Cause yeah, remember we had acquired enchants for the farmer's harvester right here. Both of those are gonna be good, cool. Oh yeah, and during a Discord live stream, so there's a Neo Network official like Discord server. Uh, funny, I keep forgetting I have fly. I basically doubled the size of the cactus farm. I was just bored one day and I just wanted to build and just, I, I just for some reason was streaming on Discord in a public lounge and had a big community meeting. I try to do those about once a week and I ended up doubling the cactus farm, which is nice. I also modified these to be like ring farms. So what that means is I haven't actually been using them the proper way um, just because I don't have the farmer's harvester yet. But once I make the farmer's harvester, I'll be able to fly in between here and basically just farm like this. Just hold my mouse down and farm. And since the farmer's harvester puts crop drops directly into your inventory, that means you can just do this forever. And then I want to make a bunch of a bunch more rings, I think is the goal. But yeah, let me fly up there. We'll start building this real quick. And then we can get on to making a dropper area. Now, I don't know where to put this exactly. We have this giant purple box. And what I may end up doing is kind of cutting it off like right here or something. And then having access through like a nice stair system from over here down into here. And then we'll have a little public area where you can come here and get some starter loot. Now, if you abuse it, I'll have staff watch this. So you'll just have to be banned from the island, which would be disappointing, but... Yeah, if you want to come here and just like steal more than uh, you want, then we'll just have to, I don't know, ban you. And honestly, if a few people ruin it too much, then we just won't be able to do it. But I'm going to I'm going to trust you guys. OK, uh, I, I am. I, I, I'm, I'm confident that it's going to, you know, maybe a few people will try to ruin it for the mini. I hope not, though, because it would be really cool. Dude, isn't this enchant nice? <laughs> I absolutely love it. It makes farming wood so much better. Now, next season on Skylock, we're going to be buffing wood masteries a little bit, I hope. I hope I hope we, I hope the devs get to that, right? There's so much stuff planned for the next season. We're really grinding it out. Now, this, this season still has quite a long time left, but we like to start on the next season pretty early so that we can get a lot of changes and features done because um, development does take quite a while. Um, like, for instance, there's going to be an enchant next season that breaks debris instantly, just like how you're seeing the logs break. It'll basically do that with ancient debris, and you put it on your pickaxe, and it's called Debris Smasher. Um, you'll have selectable ore gen tiers. Now, again, not everything's finalized. Some things are still, you know, subject to change, obviously, be because that's how development goes. We want certain things, and then the devs say that's not possible, or maybe it breaks the economy. So, we do our best, though, man. And almost all the changes we have come from the suggestions channel on the Neo Network server Discord. So if you play on the Skyblock server and you have things you don't like or things you'd like to see changed, go in the suggestions channel, go to Skyblock suggestions and create a suggestion. And you, the community, help shape our future seasons. <clears throat> I just, I love farming trees with this. I wish trees made more money so I was more motivated to like sit here and farm them, but like they, they basically make diddly squat, right? Like they don't make anything. Like there's no point in farming them unless you need the wood. And honestly, you can just buy the wood, but it's kind of fun, okay? Just let me let me have my fun. I still love that I put dirt down when you could just plant it on the moss, but we don't talk about that, okay? We just don't talk about that. Yeah, guys, we have this incredible team of people who stream and make videos on uh, Neo Network, and if that's something you're interested in doing, if you want to be trained by me to make content for the server and you know help you start your career with content creation, um, if you've been playing on Neo Network for a while, you're, you're going to have to have some play time unless you're already like a really established creator. But if that's something that interests you, if you want to kind of, you know, come under my wing and be trained a little bit on content creation, you can always create a media application. So there's a channel on Discord called Create an Application, and you can make a media, re a media application there, and you can see the requirements there as well. Um, like I said, I, I don't think these are worth anything. <laughs> like if I was to sell these, like what a... 157 bucks eh, yeah we don't even need all the wood like we literally just needed a stack oh, the uh, believe it or not the only reason I made this was so the only reason I got all this was so I could make some ladders 
<laughs> we already have enough. We're just not going to talk about it, okay? We're just not going to talk about it. Yeah, that may have been a... That wasn't a waste of time because I enjoyed it, right? It, it, something you're enjoying is never a waste of time. But if anything was a waste of time, that was a waste of time for sure. It's so much nicer to fly. So to be able to... And like I said, guys, if you want to get fly like I have it, just do slash vote. And all you have to do is vote until you get that $5 Bycraft gift card, right? That's what? Uh, that's 10 days of voting. So if you come on the... If you just... You don't even have to go on the server. You can just go to store.neocubus.com and then find the vote button, click on the vote button, enter your Minecraft username, vote 10 days, um, but you'll have to log in, I believe every, um, yeah, you can only store 20 vote rewards in here, so you have to log in every five days to collect the rewards. Anyways, the point being is that you don't have to pay a dime to play on this server, you can just vote and get literally everything on the server, you can get $15 a month to spend on the store for free. Yeah, it's pretty nice, man. Plus, when you vote, you get these ranks, and these ranks give you boosters. So I think we're at tier what? Uh, oh, we're at tier five. So we have a 10% Skyquin multiplier and a 10% cell multiplier. And you can get up to a 20%. So we're halfway there to the top one. Will we reach it? Probably not. But you get this just from voting. So I highly encourage you guys to vote. It also helps our server find be, be found by new players. And it's just overall a really good thing to do. I mean, it, it gives you stuff. We're going to do slash daily spinner. Oh, and you get vote crate keys every time you do it too. But once you get that gift card, you literally just do slash gift card. Uh, or yeah, just slash gift cards and you can see someone did use my other gift card. Remember I gave it away in like the last two episodes Someone someone did indeed use it Anyways, okay, so let's do slash daily spinner because for some reason I haven't I don't I don't do it every day I keep forgetting but never forget man because the more times you spin it the better the rewards get so An enderman spawner for instance like that's pretty cool Especially if you were like early on in the game and you got that you could make some big money man could make some big money so which we have two extra witch spawners oh we have five in there too we probably have a ton of stuff in here i think guardian is in the same tier as this okay anyways that's what the, the only point i was trying to make is that if you want to fly like me it's not that hard to get it you can just get it pretty easy so one two three four five okay so one two three four five <laughs> and make and being able to fly will make building so much easier Especially when pretty much everybody on the server who is like a you know a serious player has access to fly Just because like unlike most servers you don't have to pay money to get it You just have to vote which means that it's accessible to everyone like l l let's say you know uh, Maybe you come from a family, you know You don't have a lot of money obviously and, and, and you're not gonna spend it on something like that or maybe you're going through like tough times like we want the server to be accessible to everybody that that was one of the stipulations when I worked with this company to make the server is that I wanted a server and I wanted to be able to own a server that I was proud of that was not pay to win and uh, that was a big big part of it is being able to vote and get, get gift cards so I was happy we found a good a good middle ground right okay so let's fill this with glass I'll do that off camera because I don't want to make you watch it you know, it's strange because I actually woke up at 8 a.m. today and like I've been staying up way too late these past few months because our development team works in the UK. So I got in the habit of staying up late so I could talk to them and, and we could fix bugs and stuff. Like a lot of people are wondering like, Neo, why aren't you making your regular content like your regular like Let's Play, you know, vanilla Minecraft content? Honestly, like I explained this a few weeks ago. I'll explain it again just in case, you know, maybe people are watching this who didn't watch those other videos. Guys, I had done so many Minecraft Let's Plays in a row that like I can't be expected to like do like, I don't know, 10 full see it through to the end worlds in under like two years. Like it's just especially when oh, why did I buy so many water buckets especially when like see it through to the end means you have to have like a bunch of automatic farms and all this stuff and like it was getting a little monotonous a little bit repetitive so I decided to take a break really lean heavily into the server stuff and honestly like like from a career perspective and like from like you know why do people work at the end of the day guys why do people work I love my job and I enjoy my job but what I'm doing right now with servers is a lot i don't know it, it's not that it's it, it's not easier in fact it's actually a lot more work than just straight youtube was but it's different work and like i've only been able to do youtube up until this point like for money and now that i can do this and youtube and and maybe change up what i'm doing on youtube a little bit like i want to explore that opportunity so i hope you guys will will, will show me that grace and give me that grace and kind of understand where 
you know, from my perspective, you know, I'd like to start a family soon. You know, I own a home now. I have a lot of responsibilities to think about. It's not just, you know, what I want to do only for fun. Like I've got to, I, I, there's multiple angles to everything. And like, I love my job and I'm very lucky to get to do what I do. But that's the reason I've been leaning heavily into the server stuff is it's given me something different to do. And it, it's felt fresh again. And I hope you guys can respect that and understand that. I'm not saying I'm never going to do Let's Play content again. I plan on maybe doing a Let's Play on when 1.20 comes out. Again, oh, that's the color we used right below that one. I'm not sure, you know, when the next Let's Play of normal Minecraft's going to be. But that stuff's not going to go anywhere, right? Like, my core channel is always going to be around. But I am leaning a little bit heavily into the server stuff right now, if you haven't noticed. Because it's made me happy, man. And at the end of the day, you only got one life. You better do what makes you happy during it. Okay, so we have the next spawner tier. So if you guys want to help me get to tier 6, I believe, is the next tier. Okay, why don't I just type it out? It might be quicker. Yeah, if you, or no, if you guys want to help me to get to tier 5, I'd really appreciate it. Most islands now are on tier 7, which means they have vexes, which are a super OP way of making money. Um, but if you guys want to help me get to tier 5, I would very much so appreciate it. Um, the money part, I can make enough money to buy a thousand spawners, but I'm going to need a lot of help getting those 300,000 kills. So you guys could really help me out if you just do slash IS, visit, and then the Neocubist. Now, I'm not going to make it public just quite yet because we're going to have to like make a little tube that goes from here to here. And that's going to be how people are getting to our little dropper area. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. So let's pretend we're a player without fly, okay, right? Let's just say we're a new player. We come on here to check out Neo's server, and we just want to be able to get down there. So I'm thinking, like, you know what I'm thinking? And, like, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm thinking a tube. Yeah, I'm thinking just a tube. Let's do it, dude. Okay, cool. You guys are probably like, Neo, what the heck are you talking about, my guy? But just wait here. Just wait here a second. I know I just sold all the materials we need to build this, but don't mind that, okay? Don't mind that at all. We're going to buy a couple stacks of that. We have so much money now that it doesn't even matter. I mean, honestly, it just, it just doesn't. So we're going to make a tube. I know you're like, Neo, if I hear you say that one more time, I'm done watching your channel forever, dude. But yeah, I just want to make a tube. Just like this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, breezy on a Tuesday. <laughs> I tell him that, dude. But yeah, and then we just have like a little door right here. I can buy some purple glass or some purple concrete and put it right there. But building, yeah, when you have... <laughs> this is so much better. It's so much more fun, too, because I feel like I have more freedom. Because, uh, you know, before you have fly, you got to think of how you're going to, you know get around like okay for instance when I was building this thing without fly and you saw I me mean, I had to put a water bucket down and put all the water here doesn't this feel like an eternity ago that we built this thing it's funny because it's only been a month but a lot of stuff can happen in a month on a on a server like this and it's only getting bigger man every season it gets bigger and bigger and I am I am so proud of what the team the staff team the development team I am just very proud of everyone involved in this yeah I'm proud of myself too because it's been been a lot of work anyways let's get this purple border built I, I know a lot of this video is just me kind of talking I hope that's okay because I don't know I like to talk <laughs> and I also want to explain things to you and I, I don't want anyone to feel like they're out of the loop or anything I always like to make sure you guys are as involved as I can possibly make you guys be so obviously the ladder is gonna go on one of these sides um, I don't know how to I don't want to like mix the glass you know what we'll do? We'll do that. That way the glass isn't like touching. Because then it makes it look all weird. Like if you're looking through the... Uh, yeah, it looks like brown almost. You don't want to... Uh, yeah, there is brown stained glass. But I'm, I'm not trying to use that. Did I sell the dang... I did. I sold... <laughs> I sold the wood I needed to make the ladders. Bro, what is my... No, I have wood right there. I swear, one day I'll get better at it, but for now, we're just going to keep wasting as much wood as possible. There's not nearly enough sticks. Not even close. This is quite a large ladder. Now, if you can fly, you're still going to have to use the ladder, okay? Okay. Just like this. Ooh, is it about to storm here? Now, I do live in Oklahoma, which means a few things. That means in May, which it is May right now. 
there's going to be a lot of storms for me. A lot of tornadoes happen in Oklahoma in May. So I've got to be extra weather aware during the May May months. So yeah, we'll have a nice little door right here. I'll go to the shop, buy some purple concrete. I believe we just need seven purple concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go, nice. So now you guys can come in here and then we're going to need to buy a lot more purple concrete. More than seven, that's for sure. And we're gonna need to divvy out this area. So I don't want people getting all up on that. So maybe like right here. Maybe this can be the edge, right? And so we'll have to break out all the floor, all the walls, and all the ceiling all the way across. So <laughs> you guys wanna watch me do it? Should we have literally an entire part of the video? Watch this. Is that the content you guys came for? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll never do it again, I promise. I, I The entire time I was doing it, I was like, this is a bad idea, Neo, this is a bad idea. Like, I may just end up cutting that out, if I'm honest. Like, I, I don't, I, wait, 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 wait. This is purple stained glass, right? Yeah, it's purple stained glass, okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't magenta, because I've been, I've been wronged in the past about that, and, and that, that's, that's an expensive mistake. Not so much anymore. But like it can be an expensive mistake if you're just starting out so you guys can can see my hopper system and stuff but no touchy i mean you wouldn't be able to interact with it anyways but i'm just making sure that like no one can come in here and mess with my stuff so i will fill this in off camera because i'm not going to make you watch this but if that's if you guys want to see more of con more content like that where i'm not talking and i'm just doing some stuff let me know but i'd prefer to save that stuff for the live streams but again i always like to learn and grow as a creator i genuinely do so if that's something you want to see more of, you know, more of the grindy parts, then let me know in the comments, please. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it, I mean, it's nice and divided, which is what the goal we were, you know, going for. And then we just kind of have to figure out, like, how do we want this to work, right? This isn't in the middle. I believe there's four blocks on this side. Yeah, and then there looks like there's five on this side. No, there's six on this side. So I'm just trying to think, like, where do we want to put the little dispenser array? Like, do we want it to be on this side or this side or maybe neither? I don't know. Let me let me do some digging. Let me do some thinking. Let me go back to Mr. Data, Data's Island and see if I can kind of figure out how it works. Okay. I'm just buying all the redstone stuff that I'm probably going to need. I don't know about everything in here. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of buying everything. Dude, I don't know. This is going to be interesting, though. Because, right, uh, so my thought process here, and we'll use, I'm trying to think what buttons are there. I think a cool button color that would match with this, I mean, not necessarily match, but it would look cool, would be the crimson. So we'll do, like, a bunch of crimson buttons. Sure. Okay. So my idea, so since observers emit a redstone tick whenever they're facing each other like this. Oh, well, I have to, I have to put it the other way. You can see they'll spam a redstone output because they're observing each other, observing each other, observing each other, etc., etc. Right? So, when you push a button, it, it it basically does it for a duration, right? So if I put like a button right here, look, it goes 
and then it goes. So it's about a second and a half. Now, my question is how many items get spit out in that time, right? So if we put the observer right here, oh, it's a little complicated because I'm gonna have to go in the wall, but if we put the observer right here, and then the observer right here, and then we put like a dispenser right here with, let's just say, let's say it gives you steak, right? So now when you push this button, so that gives you eight items, right? Let's try this again. Just to make sure, okay. So 16, okay, so let's just make sure one more time. Cool, okay. And let's say that there's just a random variety of items inside of this thing, right? You know, like, so let's say it will spit them out randomly, right? Yo, dude, that's gonna be so sick. So people can come here. I, I didn't go on Mr. Data's Island. I was just thinking like, I, I, I like to try to figure redstone things out on my own since I'm so bad with it. But oftentimes I can't because I'm so bad with it. So I'm kind of proud that I figured at least this part out, even though it's not a very hard thing to figure out. Now we got to figure out how can we compact this? How can we make these stackable? So in my eyes, you should click, okay, right? So the dispenser would be right here. And then let's say you wanna, you wanna use this one. So then you click the button right above it, right? It would have a label, you click this button, now, how do we get this signal off? Or how do we get this signal backwards? This is this is where the tricky part comes in. Is it actually tricky? No, but I'm not very good with redstone. What I think you would do is... Actually, what I think you'd do is this. This is actually super simple. Yeah. Well, is that the most compact you can make it? Does this even work? Bro, what? <laughs> How did I break this? These observers are facing each other, right? Why is it no longer... Wait. It's spamming the output. Well, why isn't it working now? This is why I don't work with redstone. Bruh. Yeah, I got distracted watching a, a video on... So when people go out and, you know, they, like, take big hikes in the wilderness now, you know how, like, you know, people used to get lost. I mean, people still get lost and stuff, and, you know, stuff happens, you get injured, and, you know, you're in the woods, there's no cell phone service, you can't contact anybody. So they have all these little tiny handheld devices now that are, like, GPS communicators. And, like, I don't know, I was just watching a video, you guys are like, Neo, what? Oh, I don't know, man. Why does this thing not work? I can't tell you because if, if I remove Jeez, dude, if I remove all this stuff and then I put the observer back like What? Oh Wait, well, that's why it's not hold on Sorry, so if I put this like here Bruh What? <laughs> How is this any different? So what if I put a block on top of it? Is that what's stopping it? No, it's definitely not. Okay, well, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Well, so we, we can make it like this. It's not exactly like I'd prefer to have it like this. But I just wish I could just put the redstone line like right there. Is that really not a possibility? Wait, what? Bro, what? <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys, this is a goofy ah redstone moment. Hold on. What? Is that like a normal thing? Like if you have redstone like this? Is that like on a chunk border? No. Bruh. This is why I hate redstone in Minecraft. Like what? Okay, so we can't have the button there. Could we perhaps have the button to the right or to the left I mean to the right is fine like I don't really care that would mean it's really compact no it only gives you two now what is going on okay is it flashing eight times then why is it not 
Oh, because this right here, this, this redstone that we're powering is powering the dispenser the entire time that this button is on. You see how it's flashing? Well, what it's doing is it's powering that, the, the, the redstone right next to it or the redstone device next to it that entire duration. Dude, I swear, sometimes I'm just brainless with redstone. So I put the dispenser here, I tried it there, right? And I also tried it putting it on top. Well, geez, whenever this light is on, the redstone current is going into that thing, so that's why it wasn't flashing. Bro, <laughs> what are the chances of that? So what I could do is have a separation space, then put the redstone up here, then carry the signal downward, then we're golden. Plus, I'm pretty sure we can compact this quite a bit. Let's take away all this, right? We, I mean, we, we, we probably want to leave the purple line there. I mean, heck, heck, we, heck, heck, we could even put grass. Glass. Dude. <laughs> glass, grass. I sound like, I sound like Dr. Seuss. Okay. So we, we run this out, right? And then we go over here and you still have to go around, which is kind of like bothersome because there's really no way to like, just like shortcut it into there. I'm sure there is, but I don't know of a way because that makes it so much longer. If we could just find a way, wait. <laughs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> what is wrong with that? Okay, if I make this a solid block, will it carry the signal downward? I'm about to give up with this redstone. Bro, why? Is it, is it, I remember there used to be a trick with glowstone, right? Where you could put it in a shape like this. You guys remember that? You could put redstone in a shape like this, or glowstone, and then put the redstone like this, and then the redstone signal would be carried upwards. I remember that. Is that what's happening with the glass here? It, are non-transparent blocks unable to, like, have redstone go down them, I guess, or whatever? So if I replace this, it works. I don't think so. Wait, what just happened? What is going on? Oh, the redstone pops off the top whenever it changes state. Okay. Where did the pieces, did I eat a piece of steak? <laughs> I ate a piece of test steak. This is the biggest struggle I think I've ever had with a redstone device. Okay, so I can't compact it is what I'm getting from this. There's just no like, like if I have the redstone signal right there. Oh, I think we've compacted it. It only shoots out one. Oh man. <laughs> what's, what's the problem? Okay, so this is getting this. Is this powering the observer on top? You can't power an observer, can you? Oh man. <laughs> okay. So maybe people just can't see the redstone. I wanted it to be fancy schmancy. Yeah, you, know, you walk in here, you see, oh, a fancy redstone device. And I'll, I'll put like an invisible item frame here and then put like a little something. So you're like, ooh, special. And you click the button and you get eight cool rewards. But no, we can't do that. We have to make it boring and corporate. Okay, so the solution is simple but boring. We're not going to be able to have like a really cool looking like, like see-through wall for all of this. Right, like th the base system I have here works. But it's almost silly, the solution. It's, it's just almost silly. I don't know how I haven't thought of this. What if the observer, <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. What if the observer is just placed above? <gasps> what did you say, Neo? Above? <laughs> guys are probably yelling at me the whole time. Oh my God. Look how easy the solution is, dude. Wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot to put the redstone. We should be good now. It only outputs one. Okay, is the signal not flashing? The signal is definitely flashing. Okay, so if I put the dispenser down... Oh, I have to put something in it. 
dude, I'm at a loss, right? So I, I, I shortened the signal, right? I, I was like, okay, well, this obviously isn't working. So if I push it here, will it work? And it works fine. Why is it that when the when, when the button is... <laughs> okay, so, so th 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 then this is what I'm thinking. Okay, so why don't we just have the button be one block inside? Bada bing, bada boom. Wouldn't that work, right? And then, and then look, and then look. You have like a nice flush fascia here, like this, right? And then you have a recessed button. Oh, you have a recessed button, and you click at the button. And then it doesn't work. <laughs> what? I just right. I just figured out the solution. Bro, I am so confused. Oh, wait, does it have to be a solid block? Is that the issue? Does it have to be a solid freaking block? Hold on. Let's try it out here. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> you, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. I know we have some redstone limitations because we're on a server, right? Like obviously we can't we can't build giant like Oh my gosh. I forgot to insta-break concrete. That was kind of So I know you can't do like giant redstone contraptions, but I figured surely you could do this. Oh no. No, pull it back up. <laughs> Okay. How did we lose a redstone torch? I know we didn't. It's just strange. Like, where did it go? It could have despawned on the ground, to be fair. That's probably what it happened. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here. I don't really... I mean, like... Okay, so that doesn't work. But then it works if I do it like this. What on earth is the... What is different about the signal coming from the side? Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna call my cousin right now. He's he's a redstone genius. I have to have his help. He's one of the types that has built co entire computers out of redstone in Minecraft. So, I am asking for his help. He might be asleep. I think he sleeps late sometimes. But can anyone in the comments perhaps figure this out? So, the signal from the side causes it to not work. Yet a signal from the top and it works fine. It's, 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 it's almost asinine to me. I can't, I can't even, like, begin to even, like, interpret, like, I can't even figure out, like, what, 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 what is, what is causing this? What is, what is the issue here? What if I try it like this, right? So what if I do this, and then it doesn't work, but the signal's coming from the side, but if I was to, hmm, perhaps make the signal come from the top, then would it work? So now the signal comes from the top. And now it doesn't work. Preposterous. It is preposterous. It worked fine whenever we did it to the side. So we're obviously just going to move it to the side. I just, I'm done, I'm done trying to figure it out, man. I feel like the last 10 minutes is big. <laughs> trying to figure out the most basic redstone you've ever seen. Like, it's not even, it's not, this is like super simple redstone. Like, it's even redstone I can do, and I know I'm doing it right, and I don't know it's wrong, so. This is the new solution. Bruh. Okay. And there's no way I can put the button any closer, because then it'll get a, so this, this, basically when you push the button, this whole redstone, this block right here is, like, emitting a redstone signal, and if it emits it to the dispenser, then it, the, it's already technically on the whole time this is pulsing on, off, on, off, on, off, so it won't. It won't react. So you click this button. So this can be an individual module, right? Um, and I'm thinking here, so we wanna put the dispenser here. We wanna put a button here. And I'm, I'm gonna have a space between the modules, right? Okay, let's make sure I can, I can build this again, okay? So the piston would go here. The observer goes here. And he, well, it's kind of, it, it's impossible to get it without breaking the glass. I think you have to break the glass. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, that is right. But we just need to give it a signal. So it's technically super simple. I know it's really quiet. I, ha I have something that quiets down dispensers. It's like a client side mod because otherwise it's really annoying. So this is one module, right? And then we just need a two block space in between them, correct? Like, or I don't know if I can scale this because I'd like to have a bunch of them. Yeah, I don't think you can scale it because what happens if someone uses one next to the other one? 
I don't know. We're gonna figure it. We're gonna figure this out together. It's kind of fun, man. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't ever do any redstone stuff. Okay, so the one observer is right here. The other one is it's right here. Okay. Will this cause issues though if I put this? I don't think so. What if you use both of them at once? No, everything's fine. So this is how compact it can be. I just had to build this pattern over and over again. Huh. Okay. So then let's let's just do it. So then we'll put a a dis observer. Yeah, we'll put we'll put a observer facing that way, right? And there's a what block space in between them. It looks like two block space. So two blocks, boom. Two blocks, boom. Two blocks, boom. I cannot believe we went from not being able to do the Oh, it fits! It fits! And I don't have to rescale the entire... Oh, can you please leave a like on the video for that, guys? It actually fits! Oh my gosh, it fits! I'm so happy! So people are going to absolutely drain these things like as soon as they have the chance. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set some rules, and I'm going to hope that everyone can follow them. Guys, please follow the rules. You can't come here... You, you can come here and use, you know, one or two or three, right? But don't come on here and sit here and just click it and click it and click it and click it and click it. Just, just please don't, you know, don't abuse it. That way, you know, we can actually have, you know, some sort of type of deal type of deal. You know, we can have, you know, a long going type of deal type of deal. I don't want ever, anyone to come in here and ruin it for everyone. Because someone, yes, could come in here and technically ruin it for everyone. And then, and then I'll have to stop it and then delete the whole thing. But if you guys want to come in here and, and, and get some free items, I don't mind. Just please be respectful. That's all I'm asking is please, please show me a little bit of respect, you know, as a creator. You know, I, I, don't even show me respect as a creator because I, I don't think being a creator is that cool. Show me some respect as a fellow human being, okay? Can you do that for me? So if you notice, I hope I'm putting this in the right spot. I'm pretty, yeah, I am. So if you respect me as a person then don't come on here and abuse it. If you abuse it, then I'm going to have to... Well, we're, we're, we're going to have to... Jeez, dude, we've had 28,000 people join the server this, just this season. We're, we're in the top five biggest servers, biggest Skyblock servers in the entire world at this point. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. You guys have been absolutely killing it. This season has been going on for a long time. It still has like like a good bit left, but as the seasons get longer and longer, we got less players. Like the server restarted this morning, so we only have about 500 people on, but we still peak pretty pretty good numbers, man. Like especially for being this late in the season, we peaked 1,130 players. That is the new record. And I, yeah, I think this thing's pretty much built aside from literally just one piece of redstone that goes right here. That's the entirety of this. That's the entirety of this thing, right? Yeah, except for like the... I'm just trying to make sure like nothing wonky happens. Dude, this is like so compact. Dude. Oh, I didn't put one on the end here. Uh oh. Oh, I see. So we can't really have one on the end because we don't have the rest of the redstone on the end. Uh, you know what? It's okay. It's not a big... It's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm not... I'm not super concerned. Okay. So we have all the dispensers down, right? Okay, just a couple more. Bruh. So a couple more dispensers. Okay. And then we need a way, like, we need, we need, we, we, we need division between these. So first of all, the dispensers are going to have to get items, right? Like dispenser item has to get, can we extend this out? Perhaps. You know what we could do? We could have a water canal deliver the items to the player. Because otherwise, my worry is that, let, like, let's say there's items in here and there's items in here. Well, if a player is standing right here and clicks this button and there's another player over here, why did this one not shoot out? Wait, what? No! What is this observer? What is this? One of these observers is observing something. Oh, because the button... The button is clicking the observer right next to it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, 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 hold on. All is not lost. All is not... And we couldn't test it on this one because we had to test it. So all is not lost here. All is not lost. I think I think I have a solution that everyone will be happy with. There will be no issues with. Okay. So we've broken all of... We probably should have tested it on one. Okay, so... Let's just say there's items in here and there's items in here. This is what we're going to test it with. Let's say... Just for our purposes here, let's say that there is redstone here, redstone here, and then there's a button here. Okay, so it's only doing it out of the left one. So that means the solution is just two repeaters. Okay, yes, look, dude, we're problem solving with redstone. We are redstone engineers. Without my cousin's help, he's always the one helping me with redstone, but you know what? We didn't have to ask Brady. No, we didn't. Didn't have to ask Braffy. Okay. So, we're going to put the button down like this. I you tried to button down. Oh, we're button downs. <laughs> okay, so it's just activating that one, right? Four, and there's four. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Dude, I'm like actually so hyped. And I know it's something so stupid to be hyped about, but I'm so hyped about it. Oh my gosh, you do not understand. Like, I, I was so worried about this episode. I was stressing out for like two weeks. I'm like, oh, dude. Or at least since I heard about heard out, heard out about it from Mr. Data, because he's the one who did this first. And I was like, oh, I can't do this, dude. <laughs> this is too hard for me. Uh, let's go. Okay. So we have the buttons down. That means the dispensers will work. Now, the only issue is, is that you push this one and it activates this one, right? So we need to have a way to divide the areas just so that people don't end up getting the rewards of other people so I'm thinking maybe a water system right so you stand right here and you click this button but it, but there's a piece of glass here so you can't click because you're clicking wait no you're clicking the right button uh, okay so so what could happen is that there's a glass wall right here on each right does this make sense? Okay, so there's a glass wall on each right here. So you click this button to get those rewards. And then you also have a glass wall here. Okay. And then there's like a little water system here. So if we go to shop, <laughs> this is going to make it a little more complicated, but also it's fine. It's it's truly not a, not a big deal. Okay. And then we were to break this, right? So you stand... And it doesn't really matter. You, you stand here and, 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 and you get your rewards. You get your free rewards. So if we were to put this here, break this. And it takes a minute, right? And then you... Oh, we're out of purple glass. Okay, let's buy some more. And then once I get this working on one, I'll go ahead and just like build it to the other ones off camera. Right? Because I'm not going to make you watch this anymore. Okay, right? And, and, and obviously, this has to be like done in a way where this shoots over... These are going to have to be too wide. There's just no getting around this. So you can't really see any of the redstone. But for those of you who watched the video, you can copy this design on your island. It's really simple. I'm not being sarcastic. It really is pretty simple. Right? And then you... And then you'd have hoppers up here. Right? Because like all of these things are going to have to be fed with items. Okay? And ideally, I don't know what will be in them, but it'll be something, and we'll just kind of let them fill up on their own, right? So I don't know if we should put a double chest on top of each one of these, or if it should be a system like this, where they get fed by one central chest, and I just load it with like just a heck ton of items. Oh, we're going to reach our hopper limit soon, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Something like this. And then there's a bunch of chests that are, like, right here. That I, So, like, this is, like, you know, loading up the, the, the gumball machine <laughs> or whatever. Um, and then, what? How many chests can we even fit in here? Like, three double chests? Yeah? So, that, so when I load these up, it will go into all of these hoppers, right? So, let, let's just test this. Let's say the rewards in here are redstone lamps. So... You stand like here, whatever. You click it to get your rewards. 
right? And then they slide through. Oh, let's go. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this. <gasps> okay. So Crimson Planks, Crimson Planks. I'm just thinking out loud here. What if we did a couple of slabby do slabby days? Okay, and then boom, and then boom. We don't want water to fall on our cactus farm. Okay, so something, something like this. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this is pretty cool, dude. Okay, so we go over here. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then we, we put this back in there. Okay, so you push the button. Boom, 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 boom. Reward shoot out, and you're good. And you walk here and you collect it. Hmm. We could even do something as simple as this. So you stand here to collect rewards. And that way people can't like, you know, steal your items. Like once you're in this little section, I mean, so you could click the button and technically someone could walk over to it and like take it. But why do that? Okay. So I, I would like a donation system, right? I, I want people to be able to donate, but I'm worried as to what people will donate. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to have a donation box for this system and it's going to be, it's going to be in the same area. Oh, this is so cool. This is so exciting, dude. Oh, it looks so fancy. It looks so fancy. Oh, okay. So anyways, our donation box is going to be, and I, and I don't want to, I, I don't want to have to make too much stuff go below here. I'd like to keep this as flat as possible. So what I'm going to do is... If you'd like to donate, you can hold on, let me let me build some stairs real quick. Because otherwise this is gonna look goofy ah, as the cool kids say. So if you'd like to donate, you can walk up this staircase right over yonder. Yeah. And then you can throw things into these hoppers right here. If that makes sense. If you'd like to donate, you don't have to donate, but if you want to keep this thing going, I can't fund it with my items alone, but maybe I'll go in on my admin account, you know, throw some keys in there or something like that. Probably not. Cause then people are definitely going to steal the stuff, but like, I don't know, <laughs> we'll have to figure some way out. Right. And then we'll do like chest and then chest. There's gotta be a way to have more chests. I'm pretty sure there's a way you can do it like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So like, look. If we wanted to make it chest like that, oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So you throw them into these hoppers, right? Which go into that chest, okay? That chest feeds into that one. Then that one feeds into that one, and that one feeds into that one, and then that one feeds into that one. I'm getting down. I'm getting it down with the hoppers. It's only taken like how many years? <laughs> it's only taken a few years, but I'm finally understanding how hoppers function, which is great. And then we'll we'll kind of close off this area, right? This is this is a need to know basis area. This isn't your old public area where you can come here and check out the loot. I mean, to be fair, you don't have permissions, right? To like look in a chest, anyways. So it doesn't really matter, but. I'm just trying to make sure it's clear you guys aren't going to come in here and try to bust in here because even if you do bust in here, you literally can't do anything. I'm only going to give people permission to like press buttons, stuff like that. Okay, so now we have like a little area that's blocked off. I mean, not technically yet, but we'll just make this whole little corner of the room over here like a little blocked area. So let me, yeah, I'm going to have to break the floor out, break a bunch of stuff out. No, 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 there we go. Hey, something like that, okay? And then this is blocked out, and then I'm gonna have to go in here and break all this. I'll do that real quick. Okay, well, I just need a little bit more purple glass, and then our donation center is complete. And then I'll put some signs down here, um, just so that, you know, people can kind of, you know, know where to put stuff, but we'll do that off camera. It's not really a super important thing. But I'd like to make people informed of this area. I don't necessarily love the glass here. I think I'm going to change this to be a little bit different. Let me change it. Now, I am I know this might be a silly question. And I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't remember ever doing it. When you make a door out of this, what does it look like? Crimson door. 
I feel like I very rarely ever made a, a crimson wood door, but they definitely look interesting. So you guys won't be able to open doors, which is fine. Um, you'll be able to go over here, but then what's the point of having it separated at this point? I guess I should just put like glass here, I guess, technically, but then to follow the pattern, I'd have to... Uh, does it even matter? I mean, at this point, why did I even separate it? Like, why, why have a staircase and then... Dude. <laughs> I don't even know. It doesn't, it, does it really matter? No, but it's kind of stupid. I just spent all this time doing that when it literally doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Anyways, okay, so you can throw your donations down right there. And then I can put glass on it? I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not worried about people stealing, it's just I want it to look good. And we already ran out of purple glass. You know what? I'm going to buy a bunch of purple glass because I have a feeling we're about to use an absolute ton of it. Okay. And I'm sorry about no videos. I, I really did no videos last week. I, ha I did have to take a little bit of a break. I, I had done a ton of stuff that week and I just I would, did not have it in me to, to record. Um, okay, so now they're truly separated. You can't go over there. Nice. Okay. I don't know why that was so important. So this is a good reward system. You click this. Boom. You get your rewards. And all is well. So now all I have to do is copy this. Three, six, nine. <gasps> I have to copy this ten more times. And it won't even work over there. I think I can make it one block shorter. I think I I, <clears throat> I think that's safe. I, I I can definitely make it one block shorter. Like let me pick up this water. Like in reality, right? Like like it doesn't even have to be like this. Like you can click the button and walk over here and just get your rewards. But I wanted it to be kind of like you know seamless and automated so maybe we'll put like a some glass right there right but what, what all i was saying is that we, we could scoot this bad boy up a little bit it doesn't really matter um if i'm honest with you i mean it did, like we could even do it like this that, that way we have to break the least blocks possible right okay so now there's water right here okay and that flows and then this has rewards in it so let's see if you can still get them right they pop out they float over to there yeah, you can still pick them up easily. Nice. Okay. So it is. It's like a little pod where you just get your rewards. Okay. Well, let me copy this over to every single one of these. And then I will be right back. It'll be super easy. I'm just going to break these three blocks and go under <clears throat> and put those blocks under there on every single one. I'm not too concerned. Maybe we'll do it on camera. I feel like I sometimes I'll, I accidentally skip like the exciting parts. Like I'll... I'll spend the entire episode building something and then not show the end. And it's kind of like a slap in the face. It's like, Neo. But I try to always show using it, right? But I feel like we've built so much this episode. I uh, This episode's got to be at least an hour long like already. Let me check. For once, I was actually accurate in guessing that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we we're, we're at an hour and eight minutes right now. Okay, so we have the holes in the ground. And now we just have to build... <clears throat> I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but we have to build that little L. So what I'm going to do to make this easy on my part is I'm going to build this little piece of glass on every single one. That way we have a block to go off of. And then I'll know and be able to break that same block. I'll even put it back on that one since we already have it built. Right. So this will make it super simple. So I'll go up here. I'll go boom, boom, boom. And I'll do that on all these. Whenever you're building patterned stuff, it's good to do the exact same thing on everything. That way... If you do end up messing it up on one, it's super easy to fix. That's just something I learned, especially from building tutorials. Oh, look at that. Go out one and then go di diagonal off two. Like that. Boom. Out one, boom, boom. Out one, boom, boom. Okay. And then all we have to do, and it's a little bit slow, so I won't record it. But you have to fly here and break all these. And now I can just go on top, break a block, since that's quicker. Okay. So now we have that in every single one of them. So now we need to copy this same shape, which it looks like this one, this one's a little too long. That was before. So we're doing three like this, right? And then we do two right there, just like that. And then we're going to break this block. We're actually going to break all four of these blocks. Let's do it one step at a time though. One step at a time. So we'll do these three right here. So one, two, three, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. The reason I made it one block shorter is so that people can actually access these. Because <laughs> otherwise you can't access them. 
Okay. Then a few more. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. It's a little tricky because like this one, like people are going to just like walk into it. So we may, I may end up removing this one just because there's, it's people just walk straight into it. So that's fine. Doesn't really make a big difference to me or you guys. It'll be okay. Nice. So that one's gone, which means we can just put glass there. Okay. And we'll probably end up putting like a layer of purple concrete above here, right? And then glass right here. And then I'll probably put glass on top of here, but I'll do that later. Okay. Okay. So now to put two blocks on each one of these, which I'm going to, you know, put the slabs here. So that's why there's two blocks. So two on every one of these. And then we have to buy a bunch of buckets of water. We could just buy one or two and make an infinite source. But guys, we have $305 million at this point in the season. I am not going to waste my time when a bucket of water is how much money? $200 a piece. Like, Dude, come on. We just we, we just got it. We got to splurge a little bit. Otherwise, what's the point of making all the money, right? I mean, we're not really doing island value. We're not competing. Um, but yeah, next season's going to be dope because we're going to have um, solo island tops as well. So you can either compete with your island to be on the team island top or solo island top. And the requirements for solo is that you only have one member on your island. That's pretty much it. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. I'm, I'm really excited to see how people play. Um, as solo islands versus how it's been for a while where teams are the meta, you know, the more people you have on your team, the easier it is to compete, but that made a lot of solo players not want to compete. So in my eyes, I think that's a really good change and I've really been pushing for it and it's going to happen. So I'm excited. So when we break these, we have to be careful, right? This is kind of like a kind of a dangerous gamble because if the water falls, it could absolutely destroy our entire cactus farm. So maybe I should <laughs> not be doing this. But at the same time, it still works. Okay, it still works. He's gotta, he's gotta be paying attention. Okay. So technically, like this works, and you could just have one block here where you collect your rewards. But yeah. So do we really need to break? Do we really need all of these? Like this right now works, right? Okay. Then you collect your rewards. Yeah, it works fine. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Heck yeah. I say we expand this thing one block up like this. Oh, dude, I'm so happy with this. Like, I, I know I've said it repeatedly, and like, it's because I'm genuinely excited that I actually built something out of redstone for once in my life. I don't think you guys realize how notoriously terrible I am with redstone. Like, it's, it, I'm like normally abhorrently bad with it. Like, I mean, it's, it's to the degree where it's like a dude who's never played Minecraft. I'm out of purple concrete again. Never again. Full inventory, which is only like five five stacks but whatever so I'm curious to see okay I want does it is this confusing like because you can kind of see I think it's cool that you can see the redstone right at least to me I think that's cool so there's individual little pods and the idea is that you put like an invisible item frame right here just to kind of show what it is now you get eight you get eight things so we can't do like oh click this one to get an armor piece or click this one to get a random you know whatever it's going to be like completely random right so i'll like i don't have any kits or anything but i assume people can come over here and donate like kit gear and then once they donate this i will personally go in there at some point if there's anything bad in here i won't put it in the dono section um i am curious like if i was to just like do this where do all these rewards go let's see because i am curious i'm pretty sure it'll fill up this first like it has to fill up like probably this one first yeah and then it'll fill up all these hoppers then it'll go to the next fill up this all those hoppers vice and they keep going forward um there doesn't need to be a button there because there's no <laughs> you know m maybe to make this a little bit more visible um, I guess I literally gave away all my, <laughs> yeah, and then it should go to this one. Okay, nice. Yeah, and it is cool. I need some purple concrete. I I, I was saying like, it, w would it be better if I put a purple concrete thing like right here on each one of them and then kind of stated, you know, what's in here? It, it does give more division, 
than like this. This is almost looks a little confusing. So we'll do it like this. Okay. Okay, so let's test it out. So this would be the first one. You just get a bunch of random little rewards. Okay, and then is this if this one has similar items, are they gonna try to stack? Ah. Yeah, see they're gonna stack. Like what about this one? Yeah, they're they're gonna try to stack. Like that's the only problem I see. Oh no, there's a water bucket in there! <laughs> there's a water bucket as a reward. <laughs> the reward messes up the machine. How wonderful. Yeah, we gotta take that out of there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously we're gonna take it all out of there, but now, oh wait, hold on. I think I have to empty this thing and like put this in there. Okay, can we, can we like, can we, can we? There we go. Okay, so one of the, so it does, it, it'll choose randomly from a dispenser's inventory, if that makes sense. So one of those was a water bucket. So we're gonna have to like <laughs> manually remove all the rewards. No more prizes for you guys. You can't get the, the I, I guess, you know what would be funny is if the rewards from this thing were construction materials to build one yourself. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, well anyways, now that that is done, this thing is mostly complete aside from a few like little tuning things, like as far as I'm gonna put it like a door right here or something just so that I have a way um, to get inside of this little section in case I need to, you know, add rewards, etc., etc., and I'll put that right here. The rest of this will just be glass. So I will go ahead and fill this in real quick here and then come back when we're done. It's just cracks me up, dude. We're really switching. <laughs> Microsoft needs to start paying us for uh, promoting Java so much because people always complain like Bedrock's lagging or whatever. Usually because they're playing on like a phone or something that can't like handle Minecraft normally and someone's like switch to Java less lag everyone's like yep 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 do it and they're like I can't afford it and it's like yeah some people can't afford Java and stuff but if you can I'd highly encourage you to try Java like maybe you've been a hardcore bedrock player but I I promise you you're gonna absolutely love Java oh my gosh I have so much junk I'm just going to There we go, no more junk. Okay, we still have a lot of junk, but less junk. Uh, the idea being is that here is going to be the rules. We're gonna need rules. So let's see, where can... <sighs> I just realized we got rid of the concrete. So I, I, I've been thinking about the system we currently have as far as, you know, how are we gonna put items in here, especially if they'll kind of combine, you know, if one is used next to one another and, and they have the same items. Like, it's kind of a problem. So in my eyes, I'm thinking, what if the rewards, what if the rewards were per, like, you know, per like dispenser. Like we had a little chest here, a chest here, a chest here. And we loaded them up, like one has value blocks, one has armor and tools, but like, you don't want to spit out eight tools and armor. Like that's too much. And there's no way to make it like a single item unless we modify like if we want like we could have a whole another row maybe on this side that's just a one item like dispenser but i really like the eight items i think we're just gonna leave it like this and make it absolutely crazy we'll call it neo's op item giver i don't know what mr data calls his i'm curious now i'm gonna have to go look i don't remember um but yeah, so what's gonna happen here is this is where the rules are gonna be. And I'm gonna make it where you have to read the rules, right? Because it needs to be like, needs to be very clear what the expectations are in here. Because I don't want people going in here and just like, you know, stealing everything. Because then I have to ban them from the server and I don't want to deal with that, okay? If you build one of these on your island and people abuse it, I'm just gonna tell you now we're not like as a staff team gonna moderate everyone's like free item area. Like we just can't like if this is mine like that's different i'm one person i own the server so it's much easier to moderate it but if you are gonna do it yourself we cannot possibly handle that like it's there's just too many people um so i'm gonna make it where you if you somehow don't read the rules after walking through this thing then and we may not need all this extra junk right here so i'm gonna go ahead and take this away um but yeah, if you somehow don't read the rules after walking through here, 
the idea being that you put a sign so you, you first of all you walk in here and you see isn't that cool <laughs> oh and then you're gonna turn this way it's gonna be a sign here oh there's gonna be a sign here 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 that way you have to walk into a sign to see it and I'm also gonna put like cobwebs I think is another thing so let me can you can you craft cobwebs or do you have to buy them I'm pretty sure you can craft them, but let me just, before I, I make myself look dumb. Okay, so we have enough string. Okay. So if I go over here into the... I think he he called it the Lucky Dropper. So I don't want to steal the name, but I might steal the name because I can't think of anything else. Uh, okay, crafting table. I'm pretty sure you can craft them. It's just a, more of like a question. No, you can't. Oh. Okay, well, can you buy them on the shop anywhere, Miscellaneous? You can, okay. So this is how you get around it, okay? If you want people to really read rules, put put, put like a cobweb right there. That way they literally have to read the rule. Like, like they're going to be reading it the entire time they walk through this. And like, same with right here and right here. So you put a sign here, they have to read that sign while they're walking through this. Um, so let's just... I don't know what kind of wood to use, but... Honestly, if we use some like contrasting colors like blue wood, which you could find in here, that might be good. So we'll make a blue wood signs and we can use like red dye and then the glow squid stuff to make it look nice. Okay. Um, now I need to figure out the rules, right? Like I don't know exactly what the rules are going to be, but like if we go in the shop, right? We can buy decorations. I would say having red would probably be the best. So red poppy seeds, and oh, we don't need that many, jeez. And then is there a way to get glow ink? Hmm, I feel like that would be in mob drops. Glow ink sack, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. We don't need that much anyways. Um, let me just press the wrong button, okay. Anyways, <laughs> we definitely... <laughs> I have an overbuying problem. Okay, so we need to figure out the rules here. Um, I'm gonna put like some dashes here. Say, welcome to Neo's. Uh, I'll think of something, hold on. I'm just gonna call it drop party. And then we're just gonna put some dashes there to make it look nice and official. We'll make this red and glowing. Welcome to Neo's drop party. You may only press, we, we, we need to kind of figure out the rules ourselves too. So what should the rule be? You can only do one per day or you can only do two per day. Cause it's gonna be much more hard or much more difficult to moderate if people are doing two versus if they're doing one. Like you can watch someone do one but if you watch someone do two, you don't know if it's their first or second time. So I'm going to say you can do it once per day. I think I think that's more than fair, right? So this is kind of like an honor system deal. Like if you want to if you want to mess it up for everyone, you may only use one total machine button press per day. If someone if someone misunderstands that, then I don't know how. You may only use one total machine button press per day. Okay. Okay, so... I have the rules down. I think this is pretty good. And obviously the rules are the same. Like, I mean, you may only use one total machine button press... One... I could have written this better. You may only use one total machine button press. Is, are people going to say, well, technically, each one's a different machine. So I went to all of them and just used one click on all of them, Neo. And I'll be like, dude, you can't do that, man. Also, what are we going to put in them? <laughs> like, I have 300 million. It's going to be more for, like, like newer players, right? If you're an established player on here, don't come in here. Like, I mean, there's just no... I mean, you can. Like, maybe I'll load it up with some crate keys one day or do something absolutely crazy. But, like... Oh no, man. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll put like some lucky stuff in here, but it could be really cool. You guys, all you have to do to come here is IS visit the Neo Cubist. Just like that. Can you guys hear it rain out there? 
maybe not. It's probably really quiet for you. So let's go in the shop. Let's just go to like, I don't know, like let's buy an inventory full of diamonds, right? And then, but, but the issue becomes like, if I put this in this chest, that means everything's just going to be loaded with diamond blocks, which I, I'd preferably want it to be like, I don't know, we'll put like three, no, 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 no. We'll put two stacks in each dispenser, right? So if we prime it with a certain, wait, why does this one have glass here? But the other ones don't. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't need glass there at all. Anyway, so I'm going to put two stacks of diamonds in each of these. I know this is like a super long episode, but maybe this makes up for the fact that there wasn't one last episode. I mean, it's definitely a pretty big project to get done in one. So I'll put like two stacks in here. That way, like once it's full of everything else, then hopefully it'll it'll like prioritize filling with diamonds first. So, okay, I'm going to cut this off for now, right? So I'm going to cut this dispenser off. That way it can't. Okay, that means the hopper just went into here, didn't it? Yes. So I'm going to load this up with the diamonds, right? Okay. And then we're going to go into the shop and we're going to buy... A stat, like an inventory full of netherite. That's 57 mil. Like, I'm spending a lot of money here, guys. I'm spending a lot of money here. So, come here and check it out. And I'll load these all with two stacks, okay? Okay, and then the last stack goes into here. Cool. So, just put some rabbit spawners in them, too. And then the way I, I made this hopper system is hopefully in a way that it won't, like, gum the entire system. So, see how it'll be a different block every time because it pulls it in this order, like, here with my mouse. You see how I'm doing this? Then I'll go to the next row, then boom, next row, boom. So, hopefully that'll mean that, like, when these hoppers get filled up, yeah, they're filled up like that. That way they won't get all, like, gummed up. And then these ones will fill up kind of the same way. Yeah, okay, the system works. Now, obviously, this is not enough materials for this. Um, but seeing as how each hopper can just dispense eight, so eight button presses would drain one stack in here. There's nine stacks, and so nine times eight would be <laughs> 72. Wait, nine times eight? Eight times eight, 64. Plus another eight, 72. Nine times eight, 72. Yeah, so it would take 72 button presses to drain this whole thing. And we have a total of how many of them? So 72 per, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 720 people can come in here and use this thing once, and then it's drained out. Okay, so should we open her up to the public and see what happens? I'm so excited, dude. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's make sure everything works okay. So you got to walk through these. Yes, very exciting. Oh, yes. Even I have to walk through them. There's no shortcut to get in here, I don't think. Uh, unless I can. Okay, so there's no way to get out of here. No, you have to go into here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, okay. I want to see if people can figure out how to find this. So we're going to do IS public again. Again, when you guys see this video in the future, I'll try to keep it stocked up. I'll make sure people are donating in there and stuff. So all you have to do is slash IS visit the ne Neocubist. And you'll get put, I'm going to move so it cancels it, but you'll get put right in there. You fall down in here, go into this, and then you're good. So I'm pretty sure I can go over here. And then, did I build a little, I didn't build a little shortcut, but I should probably have one for just me. So let me buy like a few blocks of, uh, just like, yeah, just five blocks like this. Yeah, and then I'll just kind of boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'll have myself my own little secret door. Now, did I remove the crafting table in there? I believe I did, but I'm not 100% sure. Did I remove the crafting table? No, okay. Or yes, I did. Okay, cool. So now we go into here. I'll just buy another stack of... Nope, another stack of this. Make a little impromptu crafting table. Boom. Okay. Oh, okay. Then we have to set our island permissions correctly, right? So what that means is we're gonna do IS permissions, okay? So visitors, these are people visiting my island. What do we wanna give them permissions to do? Um, grants the ability to interact with blocks on your island. <sighs> That's not what I want it to do. Interact with entities, interact, use doors. Use buttons, lev, 
levels. <laughs> I think that should be levers. So you can use buttons, levers, and pressure plates. Okay. And then permission would be allowed. And that's the only permission I'm going to allow them to do. Also, they need to have the ability to pick up items. That's it. Okay. Cool. So pick up items and use redstone is on for visitors. Okay. Cool. And then I'm going to go in here and make sure everything is... Okay. Everything should be fine. Right? So if we go into here, we go to admin... Demote users. Oh, this is for if you own the island. Building. Trample crops. Denied. Yeah, why would you want them to trample your crops? Okay, so this one's allowed, and then pick up items is allowed. You can't open containers. You can pick up items and use redstone. Okay, I think that's all we need. I'm going to say, everyone come visit my new drop party machine machine on my island only one use per player per day or i will ban you okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to send this message a few times and uh I'm going to now log out of this account, go on my admin account, and we're going to come watch it. And then we're going to spy on people and vanish. That'll be fun. Okay, guys, I'm vanished. I'm on my operator account, right? So we're going to see if people can find it. And, and yeah, I'm completely vanished and nobody can see me. I can see myself, of course, but let's see. Are people going to read the rules? Okay, they're kind of trying to figure it out here. So they're looking. You see what I mean? They have to read the rules. Like <laughs> They have to read the rules. So they're, they're slowly funneling through. Okay, let's see. Are people going to do it? Okay, they like to go right in the stall. They're clicking the... Oh, oh. No one's used it yet. No one has used it yet. Dude, you guys got to click the button. Huh? Oh, uh, does it not? Oh, nothing worked. <gasps> oh, I Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, I asked permissions. I think we have to allow them to use redstone. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, it is. It is. Drop items. Pick up items. They should be able to drop. Pick up items allowed. Use redstone allowed. Does it not work? It's empty, Neo. Nothing comes out. I can assure you it's not empty. Um, hmm. Very strange. Because for me, it works, right? Huh. But they can't click the button? <laughs> I don't know how to set up the permissions. We can't interact. I have redstone use on for visitors. Oh no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold hold on a darn toot in a second here. I'm pretty sure I know you can hear two noises. It's because my admin account is logged in right there. Neo, you failed me. Hold on. I gotta figure this out. Uh buttons, redstone, pick up and drop items. Would drop items be the reason it's not working? Okay, we'll try this. I ask permissions, visitor, interact, drop items allowed. Okay, not working still. So that means we can turn off the drop items. So then what is it? Is that one it? Yo, go! Let's go! Okay, so now I'm gonna log off this account. Okay, now I'm back on my admin account. Um, <laughs> only one use for a day. We're gonna see who we can ban. Hopefully nobody. Hey, people are actually le leaving. Dude, look, everyone's in their own stall. Oh, dude, this is sick. Let's go. Look, everyone's using it. Oh, it makes me so happy. I wonder if I could get like a... Oh, dude, isn't this crazy? Yo, dude, let's go. 
This is this is kind of wild. You can't see the players with their FOV this small. Maybe we can make it like this. I don't even know. We'll figure out a good screenshot. But this is so cool. This is so cool, dude. I love this. Now people get to come here, get some items. Nice. Okay, I can turn it back on a normal field of view. Yeah, I'm still in Vanish, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So 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 we're vanished. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Fellow people are greedy stealing in Neos. All right. Well, hey, if I see someone stealing, it's okay. I'll ban them. Okay. No one. No, I don't. I haven't seen anyone steal yet. Hey, they already have gold in their hand. They shouldn't be using that again, right? Wait a second. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's ban. Let's ban them, dude. They stole. Stealing from Neo. <laughs> I'll unban him. I'll unban him. Okay, but he should not have been doing that. There we go. Let's see. Is anyone else stealing? Oh, they're clicking it. Oh, they're clicking it. Ban. Monster. <laughs> Why are they stealing like that? Why do I see people in here stealing, dude? Yo, that guy, he, he just he copped his rewards. Oh, no, the sounds. They're so loud. That cracks me up. People are in here stealing. Okay, so people are donating items. Let's see. Has anyone actually, like, donated anything? I'm curious. What are they in there doing? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I still think this is such a cool concept. Thank you, Mr. Data, for the for the idea for this. I would never have thought of this if it wasn't for you. I know you've already used one, Mr. Texas here. Hmm. Honestly, though, if people steal some value blocks, it's not the end of the world. It's more like the you're doing it. Hmm. Mm hmm. They already have stuff in their hands. They better not use it again. I might I might put a sign that says like donations or something. You know, I might do that real quick. Sign. Oh, look at me, dude. I'm just I'm just cheating so much. <laughs> I'm giving myself so much by putting a sign down. I'll just uh I think I have to be unvanished for to do this. No, IS bypass. Okay, so donations except here and then we'll do new yeah. okay then we'll put the red this go back into vanish okay so donations accepted here so people kind of understand I was gonna put an arrow maybe I could do that actually I could put a I could put an arrow here like this right do it like that. Boom, boom, boom. And then do one at the top on this one. That's the wrong thing. Okay. Boom and boom. Nice. Let's go, dude. You have vanished poop. And then we'll go over here. And let's see. We, we might need to we might need to help people. Um and tell them uh we'll say V we'll say drop part drop party down the why am I typing in all caps like that drop party is down the ladder and then we'll put an arrow pointing to the ladder if they can't find a ladder though man I don't know if I can help them like that's kind of a kind of an easy find here okay And we can technically do this. Like, this is a really cool thing. This is, I don't know what plugin this is, but you can just look at a sign and do slash sign copy like that. This would have been helpful for down there, but I like to do most things like, you know, by hand, like uh, as far as putting signs down and stuff. But if I'm just going to put, bro, wait, I don't, oh no, <laughs> it's not going to, uh, we'll just put drop party is down below. I guess I could do that on one side. 
There we go. If they can't figure that out, then I don't know how to help them. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. See, this is my this is my staff account. This is where I, I staff. Like if, if I need to ban people or anything like that, it's gonna be done on this account. But thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. I, I hope to see you around on the island and you know maybe donate some items. Do we have anything thus far? We have a total of nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's that's okay. Hopefully nobody abuses it too bad, and if you do, I'll have to ban you, but it's okay, you know, you can always, you know, I'll, I'll just ban you from the island, I won't ban you from the whole server. No, you know what, I'll ban you from the whole, I'll ban you from the whole server. Let's see, Apex Flame, what are you, what are you gonna do here? And keep in mind, they can't see me, I'm vanished. Let's put a goldfish, Is, are they just over here, they kind of like being cheeky. They've been in here the whole time. Okay, so they got their stuff. And now they're respectfully leaving, it looks like. We're hanging out. I don't mind if you hang out in here, but like... Hmm... I feel like this guy is already... He's been in here and we tried to steal that Texas guy's stuff. Huh. I don't know. But anyways, okay, the secret code for today's episode. I'm gonna do it on my admin account. Ooh, so special. Secret code for today's episode is gonna be... And keep in mind, just IS visit the neo cubist if you want to come here and check it out uh secret code for today's episode is going to be why is it always like zero eight something hold on let me let me try a different method stop 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 okay secret code for today's episode is going to be three two seven five so put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watch the entirety of the video i appreciate you guys playing so much i hope to see you on here on both bedrock and java Thank you guys very much for playing and thank you for the support in the chat. And I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye! And that one was high pitch. Nice. Oh, dude, the chat's going wild with the secret code, dude. <laughs> it's going absolutely wild. I also just realized that this video... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go! I also just realized that this video is like an hour and 45 minutes long, so <laughs> and you're getting two episodes this weekend, so I hope that makes you guys happy. I hope it makes up for last week. Dude, I just realized there's no donations on the island because we didn't allow people to drop items. <laughs> uh, I will fix it now so you all can donate to the drop party. Okay, so I'll fix it and then... Uh, yeah, and then I'll come back and film it and hopefully we'll get some people here. Hold on. Okay, I has permissions. Drop items on. Okay, it's on. Okay, you guys can donate items now to the drop party. I turned dropping on. Okay, let's see. People are gonna donate. Well, first of all, let's see what they're donating. Um, okay, we get we got a couple of donators. Let's see, what it what did they donate? Oh, oh, some fire gear, dude. I'm gonna be putting that somewhere randomly in here. So come in here and use your one daily thing. I may implement a way for the devs to make it where on my island you can only click a button like once per day. Looks like Dory D just donated some stuff. Let's check it out. A pet egg? Yo, 100k sky coin. I may take some of this for myself. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not going to say that. No. I'm just kidding. I will not take any of this for myself. It's all for the drop party machine. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Thank you guys for helping support this thing. I, hopefully, I'll come back next week after everyone's seen this video. Because right now, it's only people in chat that are seeing it. But after I come back next week, I bet this thing will be like full of stuff. Which will be cool. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm going to record tomorrow's episode. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Dude, this is not going well. I have had to ban so many people. I have had to ban so many people, and I immediately unban them just to kind of make sure they understand. Like, people... People have been just abusing this. I've been watching it for like five minutes. Wait, how are my chests already full? Wait, what? No, they're not. They are most certainly not full. What are you guys talking about? No, oh, people have donated some awesome stuff, though. Some, like, I swear, dude, people keep, like, I swear, dude, I've been watching this. Is, I knew this would be difficult to control. I did not realize how much of a problem. So many people already. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to come back, like, overnight and just, like...
Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Only if you do not use printer or easy place. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna change these signs up because it says you may only use one total machine, one total machine button press per day. I guess it's a little confusing the way it's written. So I'm gonna rewrite it because obviously, I wonder if you can do like, if I un V, can I do, oh my gosh, no. Can I do like sign edit? Is that a thing? Like if I do slash sign, oh my gosh, if I do slash sign edit, sign clear line number, sign set line number text. Nah, it's gonna be easier just to redo it. Dude, it's going crazy in here, I swear. I can't keep up with it. Uh, <laughs> this is not, it's not like this was a bad idea or something. I'm just saying, who put steak in here? Who put steak? I'm trying to only put like stuff people want to get. I feel like if I got a piece of steak on my one use a day, I'd be kind of mad. Okay. Hey, you just used it. He's like looking around to make sure there's no mods looking at him. Oof, yeah. People are getting kicked. Neo, how you got bedrocks? Huh? What are you talking about? How do I got bedrock? They don't have better. I wish I did. That'd be kind of cool. Yo. You may only. Yo. Ban. Game. I wonder how. I'm going to go check how many ban appeals are on Discord. One second. It's funny. We actually have no ban appeals. So I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to fix these signs. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to keep you guys up updated. So another little update. People are like in a line to donate items. Like the donations have been going wild, dude. People are like waiting in a single file line, like being all proper and stuff. Look at all the donations we have. If I could, oh yeah, I'm gonna IS bypass. Look at all the donations, man. They're going crazy. People are giving out, you know, their basic kit gear. So come here and, 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 and try your luck out, man. I mean, you may win something pretty good, especially if you're a newer player. Look at this line of people all being kind and donating. Oh, oh, there is a block there. I see. Oh, I see. It's because there's there's some glass there. It makes it look wonky. I hope people don't abuse this too much, but I'm doing my best. Huh? Why is this ninja guy? <laughs> Maybe I just need to like AFK right here now. <laughs> like people will mess, will mess with this thing. I, I do need to change the signs though. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, do you guys think that I have enough signs now? <laughs> if you can't follow the rules now, only one button press in total per day. Offenders equal ban. And it's literally like, I have players hidden, but it's literally like that on every single one, dude. So if, if someone comes in here and messes with it at this point, I mean, there's no excuse. Like, you're going to know you're banned, like, from the server. Like, look at this, dude. The rules are very clear. I mean, it says it right here, and then you walk over to here, you see it, and you see it as you press the button. So no excuses at this point, guys. Look at that. It looks so professional. Oh, I'm so excited.